always forget the day of the week whenever I want to start my vlogs, you guys. Let me put my lip gloss because my lips are dry. Mm. This Victoria's Secret lip gloss is the gold. I got it some months ago from Tulip and oh my gosh, I remember using this thing in secondary school. It tastes so sweet, like I love that about it and it lasts and it gives your lips this like really nice color. I remember loving this in high school, but sha. Yeah, I'm back to it again. Anyways, happy Tuesday, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Yesterday was such a tiring day for me. Like, after launching my um, loungewear on Sunday, you guys, I had not slept. That vlog on Sunday, you guys don't even know what I went through to put that vlog up. I think I was only running on two hours sleep on the whole of Sunday. Immediately after church, I had to like go out to a cafe and like work from there get like my vlog uploaded and everything so i've had like a really busy week i've barely slept i'm really really tired but i'm traveling tomorrow i'm traveling for christmas i initially planned to get my hair done get my nails done do my wax like not the whole like travel prep now but you guys the way i was tired yesterday i thought i'd be able to do everything like monday tuesday but the way i was tired yesterday honestly wasn't gonna happen and then this morning i had kind of like a job interview um i think in my last vlog or my last two vlogs i went to submit i think my, my last vlog yeah i went to submit an application for a job so today we just had to go meet like the head of the place and like speak with him and everything so the job is basically sure they said i can come and start in january you know, i had a job interview today so obviously it's going to be quite impossible for me to do any sort of maintenance so i think i'll probably do my hair when i get to benin I really wanted to get braids so i'll probably braid my hair when i get to benin i tried to book an appointment with my nail tech today um he said like later in the day so hopefully that happens as well and then for my wax float is always busy like the last time i went there i left annoyingly because the girl kept asking me like do you have an appointment and i think i made the mistake of just saying no i don't other people were probably telling lies because i know they don't keep records of people who book appointments but she just told me oh, you have to wait 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 like and the place was just packed it was irritating so i'm thinking i might just buy like an at-home wax kit and wax on my own because i can't be going to the spa and be <laughs> waiting for hours just to get attended to that's really what i'm thinking um maybe i'll do my nose today do my hair in benin buy a wax kit so i can wax when i get to benin um what else did i want to do there's some things that i love to buy but i don't think i'll be able to buy them anymore um i have one last piece of content that i must film tomorrow morning before i leave and yeah i think that's basically it if there's anything i'm forgetting i'll obviously update you guys as time goes on I'm outside of this pharmacy there's something i really need to get here i want to go home quickly and like do some of my laundry because i haven't done any laundry for this trip I'm gonna do my laundry and then later in the day i'll go get my nails done by god's grace um and yeah just basically pack to travel tomorrow so let's go <laughs> This one I bet you will be a bad So today is actually the day I'm traveling, but I had a lot of content that I really wanted to try to shoot. Um, and I just got done with that. I'm actually dressed, like I'm already dressed, I'm ready, but I have not packed a single thing. I'm about to quickly pack my things in like 30 minutes because our taxi guy gets here in about 45 minutes. You guys, yesterday my brother went to the airport. The airport actually sent me a message saying that they had delayed his flight. He sent it a day before that the flight had been moved, not delayed. So they sent him a text message that the flight had been moved. So he went to the airport like for the new time, only to find out that just some story share basically the flight was still going to leave at the old time and they told him he was there too late. It was just a really weird 
story i feel like they're starting to like maybe oversell tickets and then they wait for people who come like just a bit late and actually fall for that whole like scam but now they've also sent the same message to me that my flight has been moved but i'm not going to acknowledge that at all i want to get there like very early even earlier than the time for the initial flights because i'm not trying to miss the flights at all luckily for us my mom was able to like pull some strings in benin i don't know how she did that but my brother got a seat on this flight today so all three of us are living together which is the one thing i told you we don't do in my family but yeah god is with us so it's all good i want to quickly show you guys some of the things i got from tiffa's hub she's like one of the biggest perfume sellers that i know and she sent me a bunch of stuff i was actually creating content for her brand as well some of the stuff is already out of the packaging but i just wanted to show you guys so she sent me this candle from this brand called loris niche it's mint and orange i'm already burning this in my bathroom and it smells really really good actually she also sent me this diffuser it's from the same brand loris niche the name of this scent is i want to say oud and is it y lang or lang maybe the y is silent i'm not sure maybe oud and lang i think that's what this is this is what the diffuser looks like and you guys i put this thing up like maybe an hour or two ago in my room and it's completely taken over i have another diffuser in my room but this is like the more predominant smell now and if you like um male cologne i love male cologne like i'm such a sucker for male cologne if you like male cologne you're going to love this because it smells like male cologne it's so 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 good that's what it looks like i'm actually obsessed with my red nails i haven't done red nails in over 10 years can you believe that and it looks so flipping cute i love them the last two things i have here are perfumes i've been wanting this camera perfume for so long you guys you have no idea and i finally got it from her and then she also sent me this narciso perfume it's from narciso rodriguez yeah and this one i'm not sure what the name is okay it's right there ambre right ambre i think that's the name of this one i've already been using this camera perfume and you guys it lasts so 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 long like if you haven't used it i think you should try it it's such an interesting scent and i really really enjoy it this is what the bottle looks like gorgeous gorgeous perfume amazing amazing smell i absolutely love it the bottle for the narciso one is absolutely stunning as well it smells really sweet though so if you're a lover of sweet perfumes you're actually going to really like this anyways i'm about to quickly pack up my stuff i'm just going to throw them into my bag and then we'll head to the airport soon <laughs> Agualuma tree has refused to grow fruit this year. I actually see one that was right there, but so far up. At least we have lots and lots of avocados though, like so many. The tree is full. <laughs> the avocado tree never disappoints, honestly. Hi guys, I shouldn't be outside. I don't have any sunscreen, and this sun is heavy on me. 
but yeah it's my first day back in Benin I honestly want to go out today find somewhere to like wash my hair because my hair looks messy but yeah I'm just walking outside looking for fruits that I can eat I guess Happy Friday! You guys, I'm heading out to go and wash my hair. I really wanted to break today, but the first person I hit up, she disappointed me. I don't know why she even answered me if she knew she's close for the year. Only if I had to now tell me if she's close for the year, she can't do my hair. But I found somebody else that's going to do it tomorrow morning. She said to come really early, so my hair is dirty right now. I just want to go to a salon and wash. I messaged this natural hair salon that I found on um, Instagram. They said to come by 4 o'clock. It's about 3.30 now, so yeah, I'm heading there. Mommy, Everything see you later. Your day, you must put it on I'm vlogging now. I believe you. <laughs> this is my, my vlogger, vloggies <laughs> and vloggers. <laughs> You see this girl? This is why I'm vlogging. <laughs> Hello. Mommy, leave me. <laughs> to my hair appointment i'm like almost late i have just 15 minutes till the time but i'm hoping that i can get there quickly even though i don't even know my way to that place like climb up road that's what she said just off like my road find my way let me just get going What the hell is going on in Benin? Why is there traffic everywhere? It's so annoying. I'm going to remain in my house after today. You guys, oh my god, I'm done with my hair, but I'm absolutely shocked at what's going on in Benin. You won't believe I've literally been on this road for over 30 minutes now. The road is literally locked. I have never seen anything like this in all my years in Benin. Like, this is wild. I'm trying to rush to DIG before they close. I got a Christmas present that just got delivered. I want to go pick it up quickly. My skin is peeling. I'm trying to hide it. I don't know why my skin is peeling. I need to, like, look at my routine and find out what it really is. But, yeah, you guys, I'm done with my hair. It came out okay, I guess. But let me just try and get out of this traffic. Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! I did my hair yesterday. Oh my, the traffic in Benin has scared me. I didn't think I was going to come out today, but my mother has dragged me out. We're going to the market. Last minute Christmas runs. We're going to the market to go and buy. Hello. We're going yeah. to the market. She's on the phone. Shall we go to the market to go and buy? Oh yes. So. I bought banga, you guys. I'm about to go and bang it all out. I never even used this thing as a child because they would not allow me. But now that I'm an adult, we move, we move, we move. <laughs> I've launched my water bottle. Like, it's so flipping cute. I'm so obsessed with the fact that, like, my name is on it. <sighs> and it actually keeps my water cold, like.
the day before Christmas, everybody still out trying to buy things. Sunday, oh, look at the market, still freaking full. So I'm back home from all my Christmas. You guys can see me in the mirror. I don't want that. So let me tilt it back home from all of our like christmas last minute shopping like i told you earlier but we had to get a goat for my granddad tomorrow is igwe festival and he usually celebrates it so they need the goat for that and then we just stopped and bought like a few drinks and like other things that we really need for tomorrow i bought banga i'm so excited i already started using them but i'm going to use most of it like later at night we bought guinea fowl because you guys know i really love guinea fowl like i feel like it's so sweet so i'm thinking maybe later in the day we will probably do like some grills it's already getting dark but maybe when it's like much much dark i will probably just grill some of it and eat for like dinner but yeah that's the vibe i'm so like happy to be home for christmas like probably giving christmas like when you're a child but at least it's giving christmas it's giving something <laughs> i really miss my church today i couldn't attend service it was so sad i actually wanted to just go to any church like around me but i woke up really late so i just joined service online which is actually amazing as well I'm about to quickly post a video on instagram because i have a video i want to post today um and then i'm just going to chill for a bit and when i'm done i'll probably go start prepping some of the stuff that we need for tomorrow so yeah <laughs> Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope everyone's having an amazing holiday. I hope you guys are eating a lot and spending time with your family because that's all I've been doing. Honestly, after I ate earlier, like I went to sleep for like maybe three, four hours because I was having really bad cramps, you guys. And I woke up really early, like to help with cooking and everything. So yeah, I just showered. I wore my Christmas outfits. I wore this like green set that I have with my red nails. It's giving very much festive. Yes, I'm a Christmas baby, okay? I'm really just going to chill the rest of the day. I'm going to find something else to eat. And yeah, I'm probably just going to watch a Christmas movie or something and chill in my bed. So that's really just the vibe. <laughs> that was your class. I'm happy to Hey guys, today is what day is it? I don't even know what day of the week it is. That's how bad it is. But my dad has signed me up. I guess he's been to rest though. This man has signed me up to be part of their like medical team because his high school i'm actually at my dad's high school right now is the ghetto <laughs> my dad was an ajekwako anyways this is my dad's high school they're like old students association they're doing a some sort of like medical outreach my dad signed me up to be one of the doctors for the outreach today so yeah i'm here they just gave me a shirt this is their shirt What's the name of the school again? Asuro Grammar School. <laughs> if you live in Benin, my dad went to Asuro Grammar School. So 
Asuro Grammar School Old Students Association set of 84. That's my dad's set. So yeah, we're here. We're about to start the medical outreach. You guys can see everybody at the back here. I'm just looking for somewhere to go change into this shirt and yeah. This shirt is so tight, <laughs> but I've worn it. So I'm going to manage it. I wish you would see 10 mil syringes and choke this hand. This lancet is too small. Guy, you know yeah, put your hand, Joe. Agbaya. Sorry. I want to diagnose you now. Please diagnose you. No, no, that's okay. What did you eat this morning? I'm not taking it. Nice. Hey you guys, what's up? So today is the 30th of December. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm actually so excited. New Year's is my dad's birthday, so yeah, we have some like low-key plans for that. I'm probably just going to stay home and celebrate as always, but like I'm always just excited whenever I see New Year. Anyways, I'm actually just here to end the vlog, you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I decided to end it now just so I can like, you know, refresh for the new year. I don't really think I'm going to vlog much like the first half of January because you guys I have a new job. <laughs> I actually got the job that I interviewed for. I think I showed you guys when I went there. I have to start immediately. I get back to Abuja. I'm not even gonna have any time to like kind of settle in i'm jumping straight back into work so i don't think i'll be able to vlog for a while the job isn't going to be as busy as my last job so i'm really hoping i'll still be able to put out videos i'm not sure how much vlogs we're going to have next year yet yeah, but we'll see and that's why i really need to take time off and like plan for my year but yeah i'm wishing everyone a happy 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 new year i hope you guys get everything that you're wishing for in the new year and i hope that god keeps all of us to actually see this new year i'm going to finish up editing this vlog today and it's going to be up tomorrow even though i've been running a lot of errands today with my sister she just went to buy something definitely going to finish the vlog up today so that my last vlog for the year can be up tomorrow sunday these days i don't even know what day of the week it is anymore like every day feels like a weekend but it's all good i'll definitely have the vlog up tomorrow and yeah i really hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys in the new year i guess it's basically going to be 2024 the next time i see you guys so you have a happy new year celebration with your families and i'll see you guys in my next one bye